All right, here's my live pedal board setup. Uh, I'm running from uh, going into a Line 6 uh, Relay G50 system, uh, wireless, uh, then going into a TC Electronic uh, Polytune, coming out of the Polytune, and going into a Boss uh, Super Overdrive SD1, which I use for a 50% choke. Uh, lowers my volume down to 50% of its normal gain. Out of that into a compressor, uh, Boss Compression Sustainer CS3. Uh, out of that into a uh, Zach Wildwall from Dunlop. Out of that into a Boss BF2 Flanger system into a Boss Super Phaser PH2, and then into an Ernie Ball VP Junior, which is a volume pedal. Um, then it goes into a MXR Carbon Copy Analog Delay, then into a MXR Black Label Chorus, uh, Zach Wild Chorus, which runs out stereo into my two heads, which are right there. Uh, let me back it up here. So, these are my two matching Terror Twins, the Marshall JCM 2000 DSL 100 heads with the illuminating uh, face plates. Obviously you can't see it illuminated in here because I don't have them turned on. But anyways, I'm running both those stereo into 412 cabinets, which there's one right there. I run the 1960 lead cabinet, and then the other one is over here. So around the stereo in the room. So it sounds nice and full, especially when you add a little touch of chorus. My settings on my pedals, on my overdrive, like I said, it's a, uh, I use it for a choke. Oh, and this pedal right here is a custom built uh, um, pedal that allows me to switch my both my heads simultaneously from clean to dirty. So each one of these goes into the back of the head to uh, uh, change from channel A to channel B. And that goes to one head, this goes to the other head. <clears throat> so then I could go, turn it on, turn it off. It goes from clean to dirty. Pretty simple. The overdrive, I keep it set at about 9 o'clock on the level, at 12 o'clock on the tone, and about 1, one thirty on the drive. Um, my chorus, or my compressor, I usually keep the level at about 1 o'clock, 1.30. My tone at about, oh, 10.30. The attack, I keep it at about 12.30. And the sustain, I keep it about, oh, 1 o'clock. And I use that normally in, uh, along with uh, the overdrive. If I'm running a solo, I use these simultaneously, so it boosts my signal by about, oh, about 6 dB. Maybe a little more. Um, or I'll run it in combination with chorus, and uh, it'll give me a really nice clean tone. Um, sometimes I'll use it for uh, with distortion to uh, just fill it in really nice for nice tight uh, rhythm patterns. My flanger, I usually run it with the manual sitting at about 11 o'clock, depth about 1 o'clock, rate at 11 o'clock, and the resonance at about 7 o'clock, uh, almost 8 o'clock. My super phaser, I run the rate at about 1 o'clock, depth at 3, resonance at about 11, and I usually put it on mode 1, uh, so it gives me a nice good sweep, very similar to a phase 90. And uh, my carbon copy delay, it's an analog uh, delay, uh, which just runs just a just single. Um, so that's why I run out of it and run it into the chorus and then split out the chorus here. So I'm doing a basically a an analog stereo effect. Um, I keep my regeneration at about 7.30, 8 o'clock, uh, or rather 9.30. My mix at about 9. And my delay uh, usually sitting around 1 o'clock. 
the uh, chorus. With the chorus, I use the level at about 330. My low frequency curve, I, I usually put it at about 11. Um, my high frequency curve, I put it at about 5. My gate, or my rate, sorry, is uh, usually sitting at 11 o'clock or 1030. Um, and my depth, I run it at about 4. And it gives me a really good, nice uh, round tone. So there's the pedal. Uh, it's all powered by a Dunlop DC brick 9-volt uh, system that distributes the power evenly out to each pedal. You'll notice they're all, uh, all, the, all the cables in there are all monster cables. So it gets a nice uh, uh, brass connection in there. So I don't have to worry about anything uh, cutting out on me live because you really can't have that in a live scenario. And there you have it. All right, my heads. This is how I run them generally when I'm playing live or in rehearsal. I run my presence full open, run my treble full open, my middle or mid range, I leave it at about one and a half. Uh, I like to scoop the mids. I don't, I don't like them being too out front. Uh, my bass, I usually run my bass at, a, you know, about uh, three and a half, um, or rather uh, nine. Um, <laughs> I'm getting confused. Uh, my reverb, since I remove the reverb pans out of both heads, I just take them out. Um, I don't use them. Uh, so I just roll them back to zero because they're not doing anything anyway. My deep switch and my uh, tone shift, I leave those off because I, I don't like them. Um, <laughs> and they're not really an asset to the head. Um, my ultra gain, which is my dirty channel, I usually keep it out on lead uh, on lead one to get it a really nice uh, uh, on one head anyway. Uh, it gives me more of a mid rangey type tone, whereas on this head, uh, I have it in, uh, which allows me to get one head to be very trebly and the other one to be rounder. So it sounds like there's two guitars playing at the same time. Uh, so my volume, I usually keep it about two and a half to three, uh, which is pretty friggin' loud. Um, the gain, full open, because I love gain. <laughs> and then when I switch over to go to clean, which that's what it's on right now is clean, um, I run my volume at about three. I put it on crunch. Uh, so it just fills it in a little more, gives you a little more attack. Um, but I keep the gain down on about two. Um, that way it's not uh, too much overdrive because you want a nice, good, clean sound.